This is the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia. Inside this building there are filing cabinets full of secrets hidden from the public eye. However, there is one secret in the middle of the courtyard that is hidden from even the most experienced of CIA agents. This is Cryptos, a copper sculpture revealed in November 1990, made of two parts. On one side, it contains four hidden messages called ciphertexts, divided over two squares, and on the other side, it contains a repetition of the alphabet with the name of the sculpture isolated at the start called a vignette tableau. In 1999, the solution to the first three sections were publicly announced, although it was later revealed in 2010 that the NSA had already solved these same three sections in 1992, but never revealed the solution. The first ciphertext was solved using a vignette cipher. And to fully understand what is going on here, we are going to have to dive into the rabbit hole. To start the vignette cipher, we first build a vignette tableau. The simplest way to do this is to take the alphabet and write it in a large 26 times 26 block or matrix for the mathematicians around us, every time offsetting the letters by one space to the left. Although here, the artist isolated cryptos followed by the alphabet. Now you choose a keyword. Let's say cryptos. Now we need a message to encrypt. How about we like and subscribe? Okay, maybe not. Let's do Mathman instead. Now we copy the keyword so the message and the key have the same length. Luckily, that is already the case. Now we look at the tableau. The first letter of the message is M and the first letter in the key K. Then the letter in column M and row K is the coded letter. In this case, W. Doing this with the whole text gives us WRRWFOF. Decoding works the same way. Knowing the keyword, you can look at the column corresponding to the first letter. In our case, the kth column. See where the W is located, and by finding the row it is in, you see which letter should be the message, M. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to cryptos and its solutions. For the first ciphertext, the Vignere cipher was used. But instead of using one keyword, the artist used two. First encrypting the message with the code word cryptos, and then using the keyword p Palim okay, I'm definitely going to pronounce this wrong. Palimpsest, which is a writing material such as parchment or tablet, used one or more times after earlier writing has been erased. Doing this turns this into this. In similar fashion, the second section could be decoded with the keywords cryptos and abscissa, which some of you might recognize as the name for the first coordinate in a two coordinate plot. Despite the similar technique, the solution turned out to be much more interesting. It was totally invisible. How's that possible? Question mark. They used the Earth's magnetic field, X. The information was gathered and transmitted underground to an unknown location, X. Does Langley know about this? Question mark. They should. It's buried out there somewhere, X. Who knows the exact location? Only WW. This was his last message, X. 38 degrees, 57 minutes, 6.5 seconds north. 77 degrees, 80 minutes, 44 seconds west, ID by rows. However, in 2006, the artist announced that he made an error and that an X after the word west should be inserted. This changed the final words from ID by rows to X layer two. The numbers listed in the message are actually GPS coordinates and lead to a location not far from cryptos itself. Why these GPS coordinates? No one knows. However, the sculptor has hinted to a fifth piece of the puzzle which can only be solved once all four sections have been decoded and that he has done something at this exact location that will be required to solve the fifth piece of the puzzle. The third section was the first section that did not use a vignette cipher, but a transposition cipher, which changes every letter to another letter in the alphabet. There's a specific weakness to the transposition cipher, however, that will be the subject of another video. For now, we focus on the message. Slowly, desperately slowly, the remains of passage debris that encumbered the lower part of the doorway was removed. With trembling hands, I made a tiny breach in the upper left hand corner, and then widening the hole a little, I inserted the candle and peered in. The hot air escaping from the chamber caused the flame to flicker, but presently details of the room within emerged from the mist. X. Can you see anything, Q? Question mark. Immediately two things are noticeable. Another word is misspelled, desperately, which the artist has confirmed to be intentional, and the text itself. It is a paraphrasing of Howard Carter's account 
of the opening of the tomb of Tutankhamun in his 1923 book. The observant among you will also note that there are changes between the original text and the message on cryptos which cannot be expressed by paraphrasing. One of these changes are the isolated X and the Q at the end. And despite the use of the X as a punctuation mark and the Q as a question mark in the second section, here there is only one X while other punctuation is not marked. No one except the artist knows the reason for these changes, but they may be hints for section 4 which despite cryptos being 30 years old still goes unsolved. It doesn't help that the fourth section is only 97 characters long, so many cryptanalytic methods don't work. Many different techniques have been tried to solve this and none of them have led to a solution that was confirmed as correct by the artist. To help the cryptanalysts, the artist has published two clues. The first clue was released in 2006 and is about the 64th to 69th character, where it was revealed that the section NYPVTT translates to Berlin. The second clue was given in the New York Times in 2014, and here the sculptor revealed that the 70th till the 74th character, MZFPK, translated to clock. However, the sculptor said that it is very important to be specific about which clock in Berlin it was about. The current primary candidate is the Berlin clock also known as the Mengenlehre Uhr, or set theory clock in English. Although, a very promising alternative is the Alexanderplatz world clock. However, the hints have not helped solve the fourth section. So if you want to start your career as a cryptanalyst, this would be a place to start it. And if you do solve it, you will be world famous, or at least as world famous as an obscure cryptographic puzzle in the CIA's backyard can make you. If you guys like this, then do leave a like, and my socials, including a much more active Twitter, are down below. This is a new project for me, and I loved it. There are more vids in the pipeline, so help a fella out and do the red button and bell thing. Thanks for watching, and until next time.